For the next three days and two nights, we will be visiting General Santos City and Lake Cebu in South Cotabato. I am now in SM City Davao where I will be meeting the team. And from here, we will be traveling at least 148 kilometers to reach General Santos City. So join me within the next few days to explore the sights, attractions, tastes, and appreciate the cultures of General Santos City and Lake Cebu. We will be staying at Venue 88 in General Santos City and Punta Isla in Lake Cebu, all under Solid View Resort Management. The team just arrived and we're ready to go. Join me! Indigo City here in Davao del Sur. We're making a quick stop at Mer's Native Delicacies to buy freshly cooked bibingka and puto as our snacks along the way. From Davao City to General Santos City, we went straight here at the General Santos City Airport, a newly renovated one of international standard. To share with all of you that you can actually fly straight here in this beautiful city from Manila, Cebu, and Iloilo. Restaurant. Yes. And it's, it's a pleasure to have you here in Venue 88. So, let's Thank have you. lunch. Chef, yeah. what do we have here for us? Wow. Yes, uh, so we have for, for our first meal is uh, we have the Southern Fried Chicken. Southern Fried one Chicken. One of our signature uh, when it comes on fried chicken. Our one of our signature when it comes to soup is the fried Lapu Lapu Sinigang. Fried Lapu Lapu Sinigang. Yes, so wow. It's more intensified. Uh, ah, ganda ng presentation nyo, ha? Yes. Very nice. And also for the vegetable option, we have the uh, three three vegetables: uh, the shiitake, the bottom, and the pork. Ah, uh, so three kinds of mushroom. Yes. Okay. And then I see a kare kare here. Yes. Uh, this is beef kare kare. Beef kare kare, no? Yes. And for our dessert is the uh, chamoy cake. We have the New York uh, cheesy cake and our one such thing is the celebration. This is the celebration, yes. Wow, Elvi! Sabi mo, simple lunch lang, ha? But thank you very much. I can't wait to see you. Went around the city and we're so famished. So, thank you. I'm pleasure to have you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tara! So after that sumptuous lunch, we're off to an afternoon tour. We're going to explore the highlands of General Santos City and Glan Sarangani. So join me as we visit two important spots here, the Enares Ridge and Julio Spot.
really God's provision. And pangalawa po, ang motivation ko during pandemic, dumating ito sa amin during pandemic. So it was a blessing. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Una-una, uh, na-push kami because ang place talaga, meron siyang potential for business. As you can see, ano siya eh, uh, 360 degree ang view, panoramic ang view. So sayang din naman, ipokrita din ako pag hindi natin i-develop, nandiyan na yan eh. So, I myself, nature lover po talaga ako. And then first time ko po pagpunta dito, uh, nakita ko po ang community. Ang community po kasi may need sila. So sabi ko, Lord, siguro may, uh, may purpose bakit kami napunta dito. So, naging reality siya during in the middle of the pandemic. Yes. Oh, tapos na mention about the community dito, Miss Honey. So what do you mean yung community? Parang are they locals or are they um, indigenous? Uh, Blaan tribe po. Yes. In fact, sir, nung pumunta ako dito almost three years ago, uh, birth man ko po yon. So, nakahiligan ko na talaga na instead na magpakain sa mga able, doon talaga ako nag, naghahanap ako ng uh, ibang area na, na need talaga. So, ang unang, unang ano ko talaga dito, sir, wala pang bahay. Wala pa, lang, wala pa talaga ito is nag-reach out po, po ako sa community. Especially sa mga bata po. Anong sinimula ninyo? Which part of the area ang una nyo dinevelop? Uh, ito talaga sir, ang uh, resto and view deck po. Kasi uh, usually kasi sayang din naman ang tao pumupunta dito. They spend para sa transportation and then the view lang. So two in one, the view. At the, at the same time, meron na din restaurant. Para convenient naman din para sa kanila. Nakalimutan mo ata yung weather, di ba? Kaminsan. <laughs> Ay, yes. ang, sarap, ang sarap ng weather dito yung Opo Na-mention mo kanina Pag umaga, malamig Yes po So ngayon, parang nafe-feelan natin So, uh -oh. ganito ba ang weather nito everyday? Ah, hindi po sir Itong weather po natin ngayon Medyo mahangin na siya Pero mamayang 4pm Best time po talaga dito So, dalawa lang ang dalhin niyo po uh, Jacket or human jacket wow. <laughs> Kasi malamig May jacket na po <laughs> Wow, so ganun yung restaurant nyo. And then, ano yung expansion na ginagawa nyo ngayon dito? Ah, sir, ang expansion pa lang namin so far for magpo-four months na kasi ang Hinaris Ridge. So, naka-ano naka kami ngayon ng dalawang rooms for accommodation. Kasi, yun ang problema ko dati. Merong mga customer dito na ayaw nang bumaba. Gusto nilang, pwede bukas na lang. So, yun talaga ang isa sa problema ko before. So, I'm proud to say na galing sa uh, fruit of labor yun ng Hinari Street na nagkaroon kami ngayon ng boho team na accommodations. Ah, napaka talagang, ano, it's exciting kasi sabi mo yung, ano yung nakita mo dito sa restaurant view deck mo, in-invest mo naman sa accommodation. Yes po, dahan-dahan so, dahan lang. yung business model. That's really wise, diba? Pero look at this, parang in a span of... Four months. In four months, diba? Meron ka ng accommodation. Ah, yes po. Tapos, kanina nakita ko parang ang view na accommodation mo is the sunrise. Yes po. Both po. Ah, both? Yes. Sa kabilang room, pagka gusto mo naman ng sunrise, kung sunriser ka, sa kabilang room, yun talaga ang makikita. And, and the other side naman is yung sunset dito po ng area. Ah, okay. Sunrise, sunset pa lang. Like yes po. <laughs> wow, what, a, what an exciting spot to be in, di ba? Yes po. Pwede mong i-rent yung dalawa. <laughs> Pagising mo, doon ka sa sunrise pag patulog ka na. <laughs> so, yung sa coffee shop ninyo or restaurant, yung, do you get any support from the community? Like yung mga gamit na pinapangluto nyo, ingredients, gano'n. Meron ba kayo nakukunan dito sa area? Speaking of that, tinuturuan din namin ng community na magtanim, like sa cacao, para in the near future, instead na magkuha sa, why not support local? Why not na sa galing na lang sa, sa farm mismo. In fact, meron din kami tanim dun sa baba na isa din sa raw materials na hindi na namin kailangang bilhin. Organic pa siya kasi bawal ang, ang chemicals. Isa din yun para sa magiging ingredients po para sa restaurant po. Kompleto na talaga. <laughs> ang purpose po pala namin dito kaya na-build, na uh, natayo, nagkaroon ng Hinaris Reed kasi nakita ko po ang need ng community. So, instead na ah, uh, ang ano namin doon is magkapagbigay ng livelihood sa pamamagitan ng kinu sila yung mga staff ko, sila po ang kinukuha ko. And at the same time, uh, nakapag-reach out din kami ng soul 
para mag magkaroon kami ng Bible study with the, with the tribes. Isa din po yon. So, sa lahat po nang pumupunta dito, we are very thankful. Kasi isa din sila sa nakapag-contribute na makatulong sa livelihood. Kasama sa inyong mission. Yes po. God bless you more. Yes po. Thank you so much po, sir. God bless. God bless. We traveled around 45 minutes from General Santos City to Glan, Sarangani Province to enjoy the sunset and scenic view as well as the shores of the beautiful Sarangani Bay that opens up to the Celebes Sea on the Pacific Ocean. Our first stop was Julius Point that provided the breathtaking view of the sea that looked magical in the late afternoon sun. Julius Point is sprawling as it is sloping and made ideal for those seeking quick getaways on self-service and Spartan facilities. Meanwhile, our sunset experience in Sarangani Bay would not have been complete without visiting the beach. A quick walk along a shore not so far from Julius Point felt really good with warmth of the sunset and gentle breeze from the sea. Ray, yes, thank yes. you very much for hosting oh, us tonight. Of course, um, of course. Such a pretty, beautiful, enchanting place. Especially thank you. At night. <laughs> I like the term enchanting because <laughs> you know, enchanting. I believe in fairies. So, <laughs> so they're there all you here. Go. Yes. Now, Red, you call your place Red Fern, Fern Pavilion. Pavilion. So yes. There must be a story behind that. It's the development of the name is actually very, very interesting because I also work in branding no? uh, I, I developed a lot of brands na in my profession before uh, but uh, with the when it came to my own business the red fern pavilions you know syempre extra care has to be taken in the development of the name palang okay well the first thing that I had to determine there was the 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 right term the perfect term to use to show or to express that it is a garden restaurant. I did not want to use the term garden restaurant. Sure. I did not want to label it as a garden restaurant in the name. So I was thinking of, is it cottages, gazebo? But you know, uh, cottages naman might make it feel like it's a beach, no? Or when I say naman gazebo, I don't think that everybody, at least in the locality, is familiar with what a gazebo is. And it sounds Japanese, so we might be mistaken as a Japanese restaurant. And the next best thing that I found was pavilions. And it sounded, you know, I, I just wanted it to sound uh, social. No? I, I wanted it to sound a little more upscale. So I think pavilions was the perfect term. Now, I developed the, the, the brand, I was thinking of the brand during the time uh, we were still in the pandemic and of course during the pandemic marami sa atin ang naging plantito at plantita di ba and isa na ako doon and one of my favorite plants talaga was the fern okay so sabi ko i want to use the term the word fern because i like the symbolism of the fern i mean it's it's 
it's a hassle-free plant to care for. And the fern is something that has a very strong sense of resilience. And I mean, it thrives you, in the wild. Exactly. You throw it anywhere, it just grows, it thrives. And whenever a, a fern grows, it's always majestic. You know? So I, I really wanted the symbolism of the fern. So ayun na, I decided, okay, fern pavilions. Fern pavilions. Okay, sounds good, but kulang. I mean, does it have the impact pa? Okay, in, in, in the past, you know, for, for feng shui reasons, no? uh, sometimes when you come up with a design, there's always the color red. You express the color red in, in the architecture or in interiors or even the logo. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a garden. It's, it's all green, you know. Pag nilagyan ko pa ng red yan, I'm not really sure how that will work. So I decided to use the word red. No. At the same time, my lucky color is red. My business partner's lucky color is also red. So sabi ko, okay, why don't we put them together? Red Fern Pavilions. And all of a sudden, wow, that is a name. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that, yes. you see. This really is a story. Yes. Because um, the moment you hear red fern pavilions, that already titillates your mind by yes. imagination yes. and thinking, why is it named as such? No? So we had an excellent dinner tonight. Thank you thank for you. Thank you. sharing your favorite. Yes, yes. Um, my next question is basically, what gave you the inspiration to put, put up such menu that you made available, of course, for us tonight? and for other guests to come here yes um okay uh the the real story behind that is we employed we employed uh different chefs with international backgrounds mm -hmm. you know uh during the pandemic a lot of them came home because of course we know what happened to the world naman, no? and uh, you know with respect to their background their their professions as chefs their their background in the international in, in the world of international cuisine you know uh that's exactly what we wanted to tap into you know we wanted to give them the liberty to to propose and to decide what goes into the menu of course with us to you know to make sure that everything works well together so that is the kind of cuisine that we wanted to offer here it's international fusion I mean, there are a lot of other restaurants in town, but uh, what we wanted to do was to offer something that they are not offering. And what has been the response like from your, from you, your regular guests by this time? You know what? One of the best things you will hear is when somebody says, Oi, I have a favorite in your restaurant. Right uh, it's this. Okay. <laughs> and whenever I go there, I always order this. This has to be on my table. I mean, that's one of the best things that you will ever hear. Yeah, I mean, if you own a restaurant. So much energy to continue yes. what you're doing. Oh, yes, uh, yes. And, you know, it inspires you. And then you tell them, you know what? Next month, we'll have, uh, we'll have a few additions to the menu. Maybe you'll find a new favorite. You know, uh, I mean, it's, it's a good way to connect with your customers. Actually, also. you answered my next question already. Mm. So you are quite dynamic in terms of developing your menu, right? Yes, yes. So it, it changes over over time or certain it, periods. Yes. You know, uh, the thing about the restaurant business I learned is not everything works. Not everything on your menu works. You know, uh, as much as possible, you want to put in all the good stuff. But again, not everything works. So you, you take out some of the... Uh, non-moving items and then you replace them with new items more exciting perhaps uh, and I think it also helps in keeping your customers interested we rely a lot on return customers and if there's always something new I think it, it keeps them interested and, and that, that keeps them loyal to you yes, so yes. in your in your piece of paradise here. Uh, <laughs> I love that term. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You have you have different types of services. You have pavilions. I see a, a much larger structure there. Yes. And I understand you even have some 
other facilities behind that structure. Yes. Uh, so here at the Redfern Pavilions, we have our standard pavilions. We have eight pavilions for, for eight groups, basically. Um, now, once all of those are filled up, or during um, you know a, a pleasant evening, we actually open the garden, mm. the open uh, the we call it like the, the open skies dining. Uh, we we set up tables there. We set up tables beside the pond. You know, it's a good uh, you know like it's truly open air dining. Um, so this is like the the major semi cool formal part of the restaurant. And then we have the casual side of things where you can just have your coffee, you can have your beer, you can have your cocktails. And that's what we call the Grand Pavilion. That's the Grand Pavilion. Okay. Um, and then for th when things become a little more exclusive or a little more formal, we also have the VIP Lounge, which we call the Mayana Lounge, named after my mother's favorite plant, the Mayana. Yeah, which actually we have a lot here. Uh, they come in different colors. Yes, yeah. yes. So the Mayana Lounge is, uh, it, you have the option to keep it open or you can enclose it and put on the air conditioner. Again, uh, a lot of people now would prefer open air and we're still giving them that option. Okay, that's good. And you know, the touch of sophistication here is quite apparent and certainly it talks about the market that, that we currently have. Yes. So I just want some validation in that statement. Yes. So are you targeting the right market that you have in mind? I, I would say that, uh, yes, I think we have captured that market. And the market that I am targeting, that we are targeting, is the, the more mature market. You know, uh, of course, uh, uh, one of the strongest markets in... in you know anywhere is the the younger market the millennial market but you know we should never forget the market that is ahead of them i think this market is a bit underserved in in a lot of businesses now and i want to you know i want to welcome them i want them to feel na hey this is a place that you know that you'd be comfortable in you know uh the the aesthetics are very simple it's just a garden but you know, the feels, you know, it will make you feel nostalgic. It will remind you of your lawless backyard. It will make you remember those nice gardens that you know, you'd love to hold a party in. Parang ganon. Back in the 90s, like uh, in, in movies in the 90s, you know, whenever there's a party, it's al almost always in a garden. So uh, that's the kind of feel that I, I want to express specifically for that market. Congratulations. You know, Thank you. As a mover and shaker of uh, the community here, General yes. Santos, I think you've contributed something oh, to the you. destination. Thank you. You might want to share with us briefly how, how you see General Santos developing uh, maybe as a tourist destination within the next couple of years. In my mind, General Santo City is a very, very industry-oriented city, society. Um, I think that it is up to us, the small business entities, that will really, you know, put when all our creations are put together, that's when interesting things come out. Uh, I mean, uh, especially in terms of tourism, you know, we, we come up with nice, restaurants nice dining places farms you know farm tourism is big and you know what general santa city has all the potential to develop the nicest uh, farm destinations um, in the region and also you know what again it's the efforts of the small business entities that will really build the character of the city that will make it interesting in terms of uh, the tourism perspective. So, well, General Santo City and the region is very blessed of somebody like you. With <laughs> somebody with the vision and somebody was the boldness to make it into a reality. So, um, Rain, thank you very much. Thank for your you. Time. Thank you very much, and also. Congratulations, yes. and we wish you all the best. And um, rest assured, this is not our last time to be here. You know what? Feel free to come back. 
we still have a lot on our menu for you to try uh definitely we'll 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 be happy to see you again here congratulations thank you thank you dagang salamat dagang salamat our gracious host prepared his favorite items in the menu and they were delicious for starters we had crispy dia and native chicken salad for mains cereal shrimp rosemary tofu and vegetable stir fry and crispy spare ribs with red fern barbecue sauce for starch, Cuban rice, and original desserts, Parishnikov and Charlie Brown. Our beverages were fresh cucumber lemonade and guyabano. We arrived here at the General Santos City Fishport Complex at around 5.30 in the morning and we just saw this flurry of activities, fishermen hauling their catch to be weighed and buyers eagerly waiting for them to be sold in their respective selling areas. What an exhilarating experience it is to see that there's so much bounty from the sea here in General Santos City. The daily catch here at the fish port ranges from 2,000 to 5,000 fishes. And what we see here is the popular yellowfin tuna. So after our early morning experience at the General Santos City Fishport Complex, we decided to swing by the public market to look for tuna ice and check on the day's seafood catch. We ended up with tuna ice and slipper crabs that we added to our breakfast items cooked by the gracious kitchen team of Venue 88 Hotel and Events Place. I am now at Plaza General at the center of the city. Behind me is the monument of General Paulino Santos, whom the city is named after. And further behind is the General Santos City Hall. And across me is one of the major thoroughfares of the city, Pioneer Avenue.
So we're still here in Plaza General and behind me is the lone surviving the Diangas tree. It's actually a shrub named after the namesake of General Santo City, which is the Diangas. So some other trees are found at the boundaries of General Santo City in farmlands and prairies. It is a protected species and studies will show it is anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory, and even anti-breast cancer. Our overnight stay in General Santo City brings us halfway through our three-day and two-night itinerary in Central Mindanao or Soxargen region. What an exciting 24-hour stay it was in General Santos, revisiting sites and attractions as well as exploring new ones, savoring both heritage and contemporary food, and enjoying a comfortable stay at the Venue 88 Hotel and Events Place. We look forward to the next half of our trip in culture and nature haven, Lake Cebu, South Cotabato. This is Mindanao Road Trip with Art.